The grey lag is the second most numerous species of goose to breed in the UK. They can be found on parkland ponds, streams, rivers and lakes throughout the country and often show little to no fear of humans. Adult geese have a wingspan of up to 180 centimetres and can grow to weigh more than 3.5 kilos. This makes them the largest and heaviest native species of goose. In their wild form, grey lags have slate grey wings with lighter grey feathers covering their breast and neck. They have a white V at the base of their tails that can be seen when they fly and the feathers underneath their body are also white. They have a serrated beak that is orange in colour and three webbed toes at the end of their thin, orangey pink legs. Due to crossbreeding with escaped domestic geese, wild grey legs can sometimes be seen with various white patches and occasionally occur in fully white plumage. They are a relatively long lived bird and individuals over 20 years old are not unheard of. Grey lags have a varied diet that mainly consists of vegetation including grass, leaves and aquatic plants. They do occasionally eat invertebrates and their diet is often heavily influenced by what is fed to them by people. Grey lags mate for life and in late spring they construct a nest at ground level amongst waterside vegetation. Each pair will usually have between 4 and 8 eggs which the female will incubate for 28 days. As the female doesn't start to incubate the eggs until they are all laid, they will hatch within a few hours of each other. The chicks, known as goslins, can walk straight away and soon follow their parents to water. At first they are covered in a green to yellow coat of fluffy down but they grow fast and within a few weeks they start to grow their adult feathers. By nine weeks old the goslings are fully grown. They can fly by this point and although they are capable of looking after themselves they usually stay with their family group for the first winter. Current figures show that grey lag populations are increasing across Europe. They are hunted for food and sometimes controlled as a pest species, however there are currently no significant threats to their populations. If you've enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button now and also check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.